morning, y'all. This is Sheree with PassionateMediumPicture.com. And yes, this is a big hunk of meat that I have to show y'all. We are making Texas pulled pork today. And this thing is ginormous. I am feeding a crowd because I have my family coming in for my son's wedding. So this is the perfect recipe for me to be doing today. And it's going to feed a bunch. So y'all tell me hello as you're hopping on. Okay, so what I have got here is a, um, our recipe is the slow cooker Texas pulled pork. It's out of our magic menu box. Um, our slow cooker series, we're doing Croctober. Today is day 14, I believe, and it's 12 weeks of recipes. We can talk more about that later, but we want to get this on because it has got to slow cook for like 10 or 12 hours because I have, I think I have an eight pound uh, Boston butt in here. So good morning Becky and Chris and Melanie and Robin. Oh, I'm so good. It's good to see y'all today. Something weird's going on with the phone. Okay, so Texas pulled pork. Hey, if y'all are from Texas, give me a heart or if you ever lived in Texas, give me a heart because I've lived in Texas near Dallas and we loved it there. Um, my husband grew up kind of going there. His grandparents lived there. Okay, we have this huge uh, pork shoulder roast. The recipe calls for four pound and I could not find one smaller than eight pound, which is working out perfect for me. So what we're going to do is basically make a, kind of like a homemade barbecue sauce to put over it. So you just put this, I actually greased my slow cooker with some vegetable oil and um, I was going to actually use a liner today, but I looked for one and I didn't have any. So uh, vegetable oil and I just put that down in there. I did trim some of the fat uh, If y'all want to see well, I don't know do y'all want to see this is kind of gross But this is like all my fat grossiness that I've trimmed off of my Boston butt so you might want to do that if you are like grossed out by fat because I mean I'm not gonna lie This is not a lean piece of meat, but the fat is what marbleizes makes it tender and fall apart for shredded pork and that's what you want so anyway We've got the shoulder, um, it, we call it Boston butt here in the south. It's a shoulder roast, but, and then I've spread the vegetable oil. So let me put y'all down and y'all can see. Uh, good morning, good morning. Hey, Jan. Hey, Lizzie. It's so good to see y'all. Hey, Irene. So we've got that, and I feel like it's taken up such a huge hunk of my space. My hunk of meat's taken up space. I'm going to move it kind of over here because we need to make this barbecue sauce so here we go so what we're going to do is I'm going to mix some barbecue sauce and I love the sweet baby rays uh, sweet and spicy it's my favorite so I need a cup of barbecue sauce which honestly I don't know why I'm gonna measure but I will for uh, y'all say because I really think it's pretty much a whole bottle this is an 18 ounce bottle maybe uh, it's not quite the whole bottle but you know what I've, I've got a whole lot of pork in here so I'm just gonna go with the whole bottle what I can and I will leave this upside down so we can get the rest of it out okay and then I need a half a cup of apple cider vinegar okay y'all we're not gonna look at the expiration date on this, but it 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 might it may may or might may not be expired. I gotta get some measuring cups. <clears throat> I think I mean can vinegar go bad, y'all? I don't know. A half a cup. I may not even have a half a cup. Huh? I, I I'm a little bit short, but that's okay. Not gonna stress about that. And I need a half a cup of chicken broth. I've got my chicken broth. If I can see. Ooh, that vinegar is so strong. Y'all, I was crying before I came on here because my onions were so strong. And I was like, woo, I'm glad I didn't. Um, Y'all, I am not prepared. Let me get a whisk or something. something to stir this so I'm gonna stir this and I'm actually gonna pour it this is not gonna be big enough I'm gonna pour it in this big bigger one and there we go okay 
Okay, and now I need a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. Hey y'all, I was, I did not get my uh, measuring things out. I guess I wasn't thinking that I had like, I don't even have a fourth of a cup over here. This is a one and third of a cup, but it'll be fine. So we're just gonna throw that in there. And then I need a tablespoon of just the plain yellow mustard. And, oop, got that wet. One tablespoon of that. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. One, two. A tablespoon of chili powder, but all of my tablespoons are wet over here, so let me, uh, Actually, I'm gonna come back to that. I also need two cloves of garlic. I've got my handy dandy squeeze stuff, so we're gonna be like one, two. Y'all don't let me forget to go back to my chili powder, because that's gonna be important. Actually, let me just go ahead and do that. Let me get this, grab another set of measuring spoons. All right. I need one tablespoon of chili powder. This is a new thing. Oh goodness. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna try to pour it out of here. Whoop. That's a little bit extra, but I'm down with that. Okay, so we've got that. And then we have one large chopped onion that made me cry. And I'm gonna pour that in here. Woo, y'all, these onions were strong. I usually like to get a Vidalia onion, and uh, Kroger gave me just yellow onions, and they're serious. There is some onion action going on. Okay, now I'm gonna try to get the rest of this out. So that's pretty good. If y'all know a way to actually get every ounce out, let me know, because I do not. <clears throat> No. So, we've got our little barbecue sauce. Y'all, this is so good. There have been so many great reviews in our private Facebook group. That, by the way, you get when you um, purchase the meal plan. If y'all are interested in the meal plans, they're at the link above. They are the best 60 slow cooker recipes on the planet, plus 12 desserts. Um... Dry erasable grocery list, private Facebook group. You also get a PDF right away. All right, bringing my hunk of meat back over here. So I'm gonna pour my barbecue sauce on over this. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh y'all, do not be jealous, but my house is going to smell so good today because this is going to cook. Uh, on low, do not be tempted to put it on high, 10 to 12 hours. So I have got to get this baby on. In fact, we may just end up letting it, um, shredding it tonight and having it tomorrow because this is one of those, the longer it sits, like the better it will be. So that is it. So I'm also, um, if y'all want me to hang on, I'm gonna. I need to make some baked beans. So, do y'all want to see me make just some baked beans real quick? I can definitely do that. So, hey, hey, Cheryl, I cannot see y'all. What cut of pork? This is a It is a pork shoulder roast, which is also known as a Boston butt, and it's it's pretty fatty. I'm not gonna lie. I trimmed as much as I could off. Let me move this sucker. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> And while y'all are on, I'm gonna throw some baked beans. This, I am throwing it together. This is not even a recipe. This is just uh, two cans of these Bush's baked beans. And I will look up and answer some questions in a minute. And I'm just gonna throw these in my other crock pot just because I'm already in the mode. And now, huh? Here's how I do my baked beans. I just squirt stuff in. 
uh, just like, I'm like, okay, here we go. I'm going to squirt a little bit of barbecue sauce in here. Until it just kind of looks right. That's about right. Then I'm going to squirt a little bit of mustard in here. It's kind of the same ingredients that I just used in the Boston butt. I'm going to put a little bit of ketchup. And I've got a little bit of onion that I've saved over. Oh, y'all can't see. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm just throwing stuff in here. And then, sorry that I didn't have y'all down. I'm going to throw in some brown mustard. And I'm not really measuring. I'm just putting it in here till it looks right. And let me grab a spoon. And sometimes I'll put bacon. I don't have any today. Actually, I do have some, but I'm not going to cut it up. Um, and when the meat is done, especially if I'm not going to serve this till tomorrow, I can put in some of that shredded meat in here, and it'll be perfect. I think I got everything. I got barbecue sauce, mustard, sugar, brown sugar, ketchup, and the beans. So, yeah, that is it. Easy peasy. They will cook on low for, I don't know, three or four hours maybe. So that is it, y'all. I've got it ready. I'm ready for my crowd to come in for my son's wedding. So brown sugar and brown mustard. Oh, that sounds really good. Okay, do y'all have any questions about the recipes or about the um, magic menu box? Like I said, today is day 14, we are making slow cooker recipes every single day uh, for 20 days in the month of October. And we call it October because it's pretty catchy, isn't it? So today we made the slow cooker Texas pulled pork. And if y'all have questions about the menu box, let me know. But it's, I believe it's $39, 12 weeks of recipes, all the stuff, grocery list, private Facebook group, which is the best. I know a lot of y'all are in there and we love it. It's such a happy place. Uh, I did not say brown mustard. I just use regular mustard, just plain mustard. But brown mustard will work too. Uh, any kind of mustard that you have will be fabulous. So, anyway, if y'all have any more questions, I'll be happy to answer those. I don't see any right now. Uh, somebody said they had a 10-pound Bobby Joe. I don't think a 10-pound is too big. You might want to cut it in half, maybe. As long as it'll fit in your crock pot and it'll cover it, I think you are good to go. Uh, Jen said spicy brown mustard would be so good. I may, you know what? I may add, oh, I think I've got some. I'm going to add some of that. So I think that sounds really, really great. great. Oh, Renette, thanks for watching. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We love doing this. It's so fun to cook with y'all and we get dinner done early and we are ready to go for the rest of the day. I'm actually making flowers today for my son's wedding, so... I'm super excited. It's going to be so fun. So I've got to get with that. So um, let's see. Anything else that y'all, any other questions that y'all have? If not, I am going to scoot. How much onions? It was just one large onion, Pam. Yep. One, just one, however much you have. It really, it's really in there to flavor. I'm going to probably take all that out when I shred it. Um, or I might leave it in there. I don't know if, if my husband wants me to, I will. So, uh, let's see. Someone asked if they bought the, uh, someone, I, I, it scrolled by too fast, but if you've already purchased and you have not been invited to the Facebook group, send us an email at shop at passionatepittypitcher.com and we will get you in that group. So, anyway, oh, Melanie, thanks. We're so excited. This is a postponement of a wedding because of COVID. They were supposed to get married in May, so it's happening on uh, in on Saturday so oh, I'm about to cry thinking about it so we are very tickled so anyway y'all have a great day I'm gonna go do flowers y'all get some cooking done today and um, do some love to your home today too I'm gonna try to fluff up my mantle for fall before all my company gets in anyway y'all have a great day I'll talk to y'all soon bye